Yeah, um, sure. you can try that other one. Yeah, that looks like an SQ case. Yeah, I'll just send so this is a very cool custom shop guitar. This is a custom shop Futura. It's like the Explorer, but it's got the split headstock. Really cool mahogany uh, with the uh, offset body. Um, very cool old uh, old style with the stop tail, uh, tunematic, black guard, um, beautiful shape. Just this was their guitar of the future. I've got a 1949 ES-175 single pickup, 1P90. This is the first year that they made the 175, and it's unusual in blonde. They didn't make very many of them the first year in blonde. Uh, just a very nice guitar in really nice shape. And here is its brother. This is a 1951 um, Sunburst version of the same guitar, an ES-175, 1P90. Um, you know, got the big uh, speed knobs. Um, again, another one. Neither of these guitars have ever had a strap button on there. Both in really nice shape. This is the first year. This is two years later. And just uh, this guitar is most associated with like Herb Ellis and Joe Pass. For those of you that like kind of the oddball thing, this is a very cool uh, arch top. It's a K arch top and um, just a large body. I think it's bigger than 17, not quite the size of a Super 4. Um, really cool inlay pattern up and down the neck, kind of an Art Deco, um, really nice flame maple. Uh, there's an appraisal with this that a store, uh, Rocky Mountain Guitar Repair, appraised it at $5,000. We are selling this for $19.95, which is a really good deal. Very cool guitar. If you like, you know, unusual arch tops, this is very cool, and it's a good deal on this. So these two guitars, uh, you know, just unusual, very cool, inexpensive arch tops. These are both Guild X50Bs, blonde finish, as you notice. This has the P90. This one's a little earlier. Um, this one is from the 60s, and this one here is a 1970, and it's got, it looks like a DeArmond pickup, factory pickup that they did. So just two very nice examples, blonde, excellent condition, both of them. Very similar to the S125 Gibsons, but the Guild version. So these guitars are very unusual Epiphone flat top cutaways. Um, they're both an Epiphone Deluxe model. This one here, is, I was told this is a Frontier cutaway flat top Deluxe. Um, there's different names that people nickname these things. This is a very unusual one because it's got a raised fingerboard and a, a raised pick guard and a trapeze tailpiece. Two very cool variations of this guitar. This is a refinish. This one has been rebound here. And a lot of these old ones, they had very heavy bindings, so some of these bindings actually, you know, fall apart. So this one's been rebound. Okay, guys, so this is another arch top. This is an L4, uh, an L7C in Sunburst Cutaway. This was in my warehouse. Very clean, beautiful example. Never had a strap button on it. Maple uh, sides and back, spruce top, rosewood board and bridge, uh, nickel hardware. This one is from 1950. It's a really great example. Very cool guitar in an uh, early cutaway Gibson L7C.